We're just going to do a quick video on how we do compost on Lambert Acres. This is my short term compost pile which means this is what I'll be using this year in the garden. This is my long term compost pile which is what we're putting compost on right now. Um, I don't do compost like other people do. I do put dead animals and bones, paper, coffee filters. I put corn cobs. I put citrus. Um, and most of the compost pile is out of the chicken coops. We just uh, take all of that, put it in here, mix it in with ashes because you can see we burn our own trash. So whatever doesn't burn and whatever is not metal or glass goes into the compost. This, we stir it about once a week. And um, if you see by the video afterwards, I'll show you how I stir it and you'll see steam coming out. It's very hot inside. And um, we may add just a little bit of dirt to this, uh, but that is ready to go right into the garden. So like I said, this is my long-term compost pile. Um, I put sticks in it, anything hard in it. Basically within one year, it becomes this. So once this is empty, we'll put this stuff in the garden this year, this will become the long-term compost pile. And then I'll start putting stuff on this once that's empty. And then this will just stir and not add anything besides dirt to that. So that's that. And uh, if you have any questions or a way that you do compost, let me know. Put it in the comments. Um, we can help each other out and helping everybody else out. All right. God bless. All right. So this is how the, um, the compost pile is supposed to be. This is a new one, and if you look up, if the camera can zoom in on here, you can see all this steam. And this is actually hot to the touch. This is hot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir the compost pile, and then put a little bit of dirt in there, and it's going to be ready for this season. Alright, so this will be the last compost video, because I wanted to show you what it basically looks like when this one is full. Now, the video before, um, I think I... I, sh I told you guys I was emptying this out, and then I was filling this one up. So since then, this one has been filled up. We stopped putting stuff on it. Now, we started putting up, up this. Basically, you clean out the chicken coop a few times, and um, this is going to just fill up real fast. Now, all this green on top, if you just watch our rhubarb video, you'll see that this is the tops of the rhubarb. And what I do with uh, my compost is I layer it and then I turn it. So you may have, you know, chicken coop cleanings, uh, old straw that got moldy, grass clippings, sticks, and then I'll turn it all together. So that's basically what this is. Now, when you do a compost pile is my way, you're going to have random stuff grown in it all the time, which is not bad. Uh, in my opinion. So we got some side of, some sort of acorn squash right there. Last year we got about 25 pumpkins growing out of our uh, compost piles. Because basically what happened is next year when I turn it a lot, it'll kill all the seeds or everything in, inside it. At least that's the hopes. So what are some things that we do with our compost now? Well that's resting is if I need a little extra uh, dirt in the garden like around your onions or stuff like that that needs um, some extra nutrients I'll take it out of there or the potatoes so this is the last compost video leave some comments about how you do your compost